I am extremely excited about, and you may have heard about uh, the precursor to this device already. So that precursor was called uh, Phrase Shuffler, and it came out of uh, Ned Rush, who's uh, Ableton certified trainer, Mac certified trainer like me, YouTuber, um, who saw what I was doing with the MIDI tools and kind of came to me with this idea, explaining that the uh, jungle producers of the 90s had this technique where they would slice up their breaks and then they would rearrange those slices in groups of three. And if it would be really great if we could basically take groups of three eighth notes or whatever other interval and rearrange those slices. And so we just made a device that did just that. It was called Phrase Shuffler. It was free. You can still get it. And it was like pretty incredible how quickly it was able to make things that sounded like plausible jungle. And so from there, once we saw how effective this was, uh, we wanted to make a better version of the device. Uh, and that's where Phrase Shuffler Pro came from. So if we start here with this clip, I'm just going to play it. Oops. Hold on. Stop everything. Play the break. By the way, this comes from a video, a series of videos that Ned Rush did uh, several months back where he basically for 26 consecutive days did a video on a classic break where he took the break, sliced it up in live, and then showed how to use the slice audio to MIDI track feature in live to get really, really nice, um, you know, MIDI for, for break beats. So if you, I'll put the link in the description down below for that one as well. If you want to learn about that, it's, it's so awesome. Um, and yeah, compare combined with this device that I'm about to show you, it's, it's, it's basically instant jungle. So if we take eighth notes and three eighth notes as our phrase interval, which basically means that, you know, each of these, should be eighth notes, they are. So for every three, we're going to be rearranging those slices. And this device has two tabs. So the first one allows us to basically uh, kind of replace any one of those slices with another one. So if I take this first one and I just move this dot, wait, we need three here, what's going on? There we go. Then I'm basically replacing the first slice with the stuff from some other slice. So I can just manually rearrange them. The previous device was all about random and we still have that. So boom, random. But one thing that I really wanted to do in this new version was similar to what we had with the even seed give ourselves a little bit more control with this kind of probability distribution. So this is the exact same idea where I can say, you know what, actually, I want just that first slice to appear repeatedly. Or I want it to be mixed in with this other one. And so on. So that's really cool. I also thought, well, wouldn't it be awesome if I could kind of have this randomization, but sort of like mix between the randomized version and the original one that I had. And that's where this variance control comes from. So with variance at 100, we just get, you know, new shuffles, but with variance at zero, uh, actually, let me go back to the original we're gonna get just the original clip. And as I turn up the variance, I'm basically mixing between the shuffled version and the original version. So if you really like what you have already, and you're like, and this doesn't just need to apply to breaks, right? But if you're just like, hmm, I really like what I have here, some idea, whether it's a melody or a rhythm or whatever, and you just want a little bit of a variation to it, basically what you can do is randomize it with a low variance and get something that's a little bit different from what you had, but still recognizable to the listener. So this I think has just a ton of power in this 
domain that I've been talking about of just a little bit of variation to aid the compositional process. Uh, any changes that are made by this randomization tab are also reflected here on this order tab on the grid here. So anything that happens as a result of a, you know, as a shuffle like this, you're going to see that here and then you can edit it. So I am so excited about this device. I think this is maybe the best one um, <laughs> of all of them, just in terms of how fun it is to use and how easy it makes a thing that is typically a lot of work. Um, so I'm really excited to see what you all make uh, with this one. All right, what's the next one going to be? Let's do chord inverter. 